Hello, my name is Bori and I'm with OTS Training. Today, I'm going to show you how to use File Delivery Service, or as we like to call it, FDS. File Delivery Service is used to securely send files to large for email. Access File Delivery Service by typing fds.towson.edu into your browser of choice. The user signing page will appear. If you're a TU student, faculty, or staff member, enter your TU email and password, then click Login. Please note that external users can register for an account only after they have been sent an invitation. External users will also have access to send messages only to at townsend.edu and at student.townsend.edu account after they have registered. Already registered external users can use the same email and palette as before. To create a delivery, click Secure Messages at the top of the screen. From the drop-down menu, click Compose. The message form will appear. Enter the recipient's email address in the To box. Fill in the subject line, then enter your text in the message box. You can add files by clicking and dragging the files to the Drop Files Here box on the right side of the screen, or by clicking the Add Files button. Once you click the Add Files button, an open dialog box will appear. Go to the correct drive and directory and select the files you wish to add. You may select several files at once. Then click the open button at the bottom of the dialog box. You can also add files that you have shared in the past by clicking select existing files. At the bottom of the screen, the date under message expires is pre-selected. The delivery package will automatically delete 15 days after its original creation. If you wish, enter a number in the message expires after field to specify the number of times each recipient can download each file in your message. You may also select send a copy to myself. Notice that the private message option is automatically checked. Any message typed in the message box can only be viewed by the specific recipients. When you have made all selections, click the send button. A message will appear stating your message has been sent. You have not learned how to send files. You can also send a request file. Sending a request file will allow recipients to get an email with a unique link that can be used to send the requested files to you. The link will expire after two weeks. To send a file request, click the File Request button at the top of the page. You will be taken to the File Request page. All previous requests you have made will be displayed here. Click New File Request. The Request File form will appear. Enter the recipient's email address in the toolbox. Fill in the subject line and enter the text in your message box. Place a check mark in the Send a Copy to Myself checkbox if you would like a copy of the request. Then click Request File. A green pop-up will appear saying File Request Sent. After you've created a delivery package, you can go back and revise that package. You may view, download, or delete messages and files you have sent. From the Secure Messages drop-down, click Sent. A log of all your file messages will appear. Click the drop-down arrow under the action column beside the package you wish to edit. A drop-down menu will appear. To view your sent messages in a smaller window, click View Messages pop-up. To view your sent messages in your current web page, click View Messages. To see a list of recipients who have downloaded your files, click Download Log. To download all the files attached to sent message, click Download All. Note that the maximum size of any file in a zipped archive is 4 GB. To delete the attachment from the sent file, click Delete Attachments. A pop-up will appear to confirm your action. Click OK to permanently delete the package. Once you're done, click the gear icon at the upper right-hand corner of the screen, then select Logout. Thanks for watching. For more information, visit our website at townsend.edu slash OTS training.